As a starting point, what I would suggest is to have the golf ball roughly, and again, this is the one ball position method, roughly two golf balls or about a club, a little bit more than a club width, inside of my left angle. So can you see that clearly? This is the ball, here's the stick where it is two golf balls and then you can see that's about where it meets the inside part of my ankle now i like to see a little bit of foot flare so the front of my foot's not there but the back of my foot right the ankle's there this is where i would start in terms of ball position and what i'm saying is i would keep it there basically with all of the clubs now how would that work <laughs> Hey guys, Eric here outside at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the perfect ball position through your entire bag. And what I really think is the easiest method for you to use. Now, before we dive into that, I wanna talk quick about kagornogolf.com. Now we built kagornogolf.com to remove the barrier between you and I, so I could coach you wherever you are in the world. You could send me in your swing videos. I can help you identify priorities, build a specific practice plan, and give you access to everything Thing we have including all of our master classes our specific practice routines and it's really effective regardless of your goal break 100 break 80 fix your slice whatever it is would love to uh, see you there kagornogolf.com we'll put a link in the description down below now in terms of ball position and how to set up your ball position through the bag i think there's really two different distinct methods or ways to monitor ball position and both can be equally effective but the first way that i want to start with is what i think is the easiest method and that's really maintaining one ball position and let me kind of explain what i mean here one ball position how do you do that through the bag so I've got a, a golf ball here in front of me, I've got a yellow stick here to represent where the ball is relative to my feet or my ankles. And then you'll see I place two golf balls here just left of the stick. As a starting point, what I would suggest is to have the golf ball roughly, and again, this is the one ball position method, roughly two golf balls or about a club, a little bit more than a club width, inside of my left ankle. So can you see that clearly? This is the ball, here's the stick where it is, two golf balls, and then you can see that's about where it meets the inside part of my ankle. Now, I like to see a little bit of foot flare, so the front of my foot's not there, but the back of my foot, right, the ankle's there. This is where I would start in terms of ball position. And what I'm saying is I would keep it there basically with all of the clubs. Now, how would that work? Well, if I took a setup with a sand wedge here, I'll move up a little bit. You can see there's the ball position. Now, if you look at my feet width with my sand wedge, that stick there is probably, we'd call that just forward of the middle of my feet. Would you agree with that? It's just forward of the center of my stance. If I drew a straight line up, right, it's probably just to the right of my left eye, something like that, forward of shirt buttons. Now, as my clubs get longer, if I keep the ball position the same, I'm gonna make two other adjustments. As the clubs get longer, my feet are gonna get slightly wider which you'll see here. And I'm also going to add a little bit of tilt. Now, as my feet get wider, let's start with that. Let's say this would be a nine iron. Now notice when my feet get wider, what happened? The stick now effectively is more forward relative to the middle of my stance or my body, right? Here was my sand wedge. Here was my nine iron. So by just moving my feet, I've effectively got the golf ball more forward in my stance. Now, what about when we add tilt? Well, with a sand wedge, I've got a, almost no tilt, degree or two, meaning my right shoulder's only just slightly lower than my left. Well, as the clubs get longer, I'm also gonna gradually add a little bit more tilt. So as I add more tilt, what else happens? The ball also is more forward than relative to where my body is. Let me show you, so that's a sand wedge setup. Now, if I grab a nine iron here, and I do a nine iron setup, I'm gonna get the golf ball, the same thing, about two balls inside my lead heel. But now notice what changed here with my nine iron. Now my setup's wider, right? Here's my sand wedge, here's my nine iron. So my setup's wider, and I'm gonna have just slightly more tilt, only a couple degrees, nothing crazy yet. So let's go ahead and just do a little hit here with the nine iron. And that would be about my normal ball position. Now if I grab a seven iron, what's gonna happen? Well, I'm not changing the ball position, right? The ball's gonna stay the same relative to my lead foot or my lead heel. Let's make sure we got a seven. 
Now I'm farther away from the ball, right? Obviously my feet got farther, there's a couple long, but notice here, my ankle is about still the same thing. The inside part of my foot is two golf balls. Now what happens, what changes? Well, seven iron now, my feet got a little bit wider and I've added a little bit more tilt. And as we're adding, you know, how wide do the feet go, how much tilt, this is minor, right? These are, these are little, little bits. And I, I don't know you need to measure that. Your feet are just gonna get a little bit wider. I'm adding a little bit more tilt, but notice the ball position there is still the same. Now let's say we keep going up the bag here and we get to a five iron. So let's see, five iron. Same thing, I got the ball position here off the orange stick. I'm gonna have my feet set up the same way. So the still two balls inside my lead heel. Feet are just a little bit more wide now and I have a little bit more tilt. So the ball should look like it's a little bit more forward relative to my body, but I haven't changed the ball position. I just changed my stance. Let's go ahead and hit one from here. And I would follow this same recipe with the two balls inside the heel. And again, right, like has every single golfer in the history of golf who was good had the ball specifically two balls inside? Probably not, some three, some one. You can play around a little bit with it but I would follow the same recipe. Now here's my three wood off the ground. Now what do we notice? Same thing, two balls inside lead heel. My feet are even a little bit wider now and I have a little bit more tilt compared to before. So same exact ball position. Let's go ahead and hit one here with this. So same exact thing. So every time the ball's on the ground, really what we're trying to do is hit ball first, ground second, right? Anytime I have an iron like this, and the reason it's two golf balls, is I'd like to hit ball first, ground second. If I swing how I'd like to, I'm kind of thinking my low point of my swing or where the club's gonna strike the ground is up somewhere forward near where my lead shoulder is. And so I wanna have the ball a little bit behind that for that descending blow. Now, when's the only time that changes? That would be with driver. So when we pull the driver out, the ball's now up in the air. I'm not trying to hit ball first, ground second. I don't wanna have the ball positioned behind my low point. In fact, I want it in front of my low point, meaning I want to hit up on the driver just a smidge. So when I take my driver, I could still with this, and I've seen people do this, do the same thing. Two golf balls inside lead heel, driver feet are even wider, ankles should be pretty far outside my shoulders at this point. And now with driver, I'd have the most tilt. Right shoulder closer to my right hip, so my upper body's back, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 degrees from here. And I could hit a driver with my ball position here. I personally would prefer to remove one of these golf balls and only have it about one ball inside my lead heel. So if I took my setup now, one golf ball is inside of my foot. Now the ball's a little bit closer to where I said my low point should be. I'm widening my feet, I'm adding a little bit of tilt, and this would be more of where I'd like to see the driver ball position. But all of the other clubs that I hit that are on the ground, I'd like to have roughly that two balls inside. And that is what I would call the easiest method for all of this, okay, is just to follow that simple recipe. Two golf balls, put a stick on the ground, put two golf balls, measure that off of your, your heel, and then you're just gradually widening your feet, adding some tilt. And when you have the tilt, that's just your right shoulder gets a little bit closer to your right hip, like a little ab crunch. The other way to do this would be to move the ball. Okay, now what I could do is I could do the same things, widen my feet through the bag, add tilt through the bag, and move the ball. And you can do this. There are players, I'm sure, who have won major championships that are better than all of us combined who have moved the ball, right? You can do this. So that would mean my ball position may be a little more uh, middle with the sand wedge. I can then progressively move it more forward, right? So as I work up into seven iron, that ball position would now be physically moved forward, five iron move forward, driver. But why have an added uh, variable in there if you don't need it? I, I would say you don't. So I'd recommend the one ball system. Use that, I think that's an easy way to measure it. And the final caveat I'm gonna say is where I put the ball forward or back, you can play with. There's no rule right in the golf rules that says you have to play the ball this way. You can do whatever you want. The more I move the ball back in my stance, the more the ball is gonna start right and wanna curve left. The more forward it is in my stance, the more it's gonna start left, curve right. So while I say, hey, do the two ball system, 
depending upon the ball flight you want, you are allowed to move it back or forward depending upon the flight you want. That's how I work the ball position through the bag. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below. Really helps us get our videos out to more people so we can keep making videos for you guys here for free. Click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do like these YouTube style videos and this in particular, we're gonna put a recommended video on the screen here for another YouTube style video. If you would like more coaching, we'll put a, a card on the screen for cougornogolf.com. We'd love to see you there.